Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to solve this quadratic equation by completing the square method. So the very first thing we're going to go ahead and make sure that only x variables must be on the left hand side. So that means we must get rid of this negative 15. So I'm going to add 15 on both sides like this way. So what happens next is this thing is gone. We got 3x squared plus 4x equal to 0 plus 15 is 15. So the next step I want to make sure that the leading coefficient must be 1 and for this one over here is 3. So we make want to make sure that this must be 1. So we must divide this thing by 3. So that means we're going to divide by 3 across the board. So as we did this one, so that means this 3 and 3, they are gone. So we got x squared plus 4 over 3 x equal to 15 over 3 is simply what? 5. Next step. I want you to look at the, the coefficient for x only. Just disregard this sign. Only 4 over 3. I want you to write down somewhere here. And now I want you to take the half of this one. Taking the half of this number is simply by multiplying by 1 over 2. So once you do that one, that's going to give you what? 4 times 1 is 4. And on the bottom, 3 times 2 is 6. I want you to reduce this fraction. That turns out to be what? 2 over 3. And now whatever you got, you must take the square of this one. Once again, what we did, we took the coefficient of this x, which is 4 over 3. We want to take the half of this one. It's the same as multiplying by 1 over 2. We got 4, 6, and it reduced to what? 2 third and 10. Then take the square of that one. So we're going to add this quantity on both sides of this equation. So let's go ahead and do the next step. x squared plus 4 over 3x plus and I'm going to put down 5 plus. Now I am going to write down this 2 over 3 squared on this side and 2 over 3 on this side as well. Now you can see this left hand side is a complete square of what? x and then the plus sign in between this one and this 2 over 3 inside this parenthesis. So let's go ahead and write in in this parenthesis x and then this plus sign and then this 2 third only and then complete square power 2 equals to 5 plus 3 over 2 square is simply 4 over what? 9. So the next thing we what we want to do is I want you to add these two quantities 5 plus 4 over 9 I'm going to write down over here 5 could be written as 5 over 1 plus 4 over 9 so we're going to add these two fractions so the simplest way is just simply cross multiply 4 times 9 is 45 then whatever this sign you just put it there and then cross multiply this one again that's going to be 4 times 1 is 4 and divided by the bottom numbers are what 1 and 9 you multiply them 1 times 9 is 9 so 45 plus 4 is what 49 over 9 so this is the simplest way you can add or subtract any two fractions and I have already uploaded one of my YouTube videos to show this method so let's go ahead and take care of this thing. So this is what x plus 2 over 3 squared equal to this adds up to what? 49 over 9. 
the next step we want to get rid of this square because we want to solve for x so how to undo this square we can take the square root on both sides and take the square root on this side as well and put a plus and minus sign as well so you can see this square and square root they undo each other we got what x plus 2 over 3 equals to this square root of 49 is 7 and the square root of 9 is 3 with the plus or minus sign. Now the next I want you to isolate x so I'm going to subtract 2 thirds from both sides negative 2 over 3 so what happens next is this whole thing cancels out so we got what x equal to positive or negative 7 over 3 minus 2 over 3 the next thing I want you to split these positive and negative sign up so what happens so this simply become positive 7 over 3 minus 2 over 3 and on this side this is going to be a negative 7 over 3 minus 2 over 3 since we have the common denominator to 3 so i'm going to write down 3 and then this become positive 7 minus 2 makes what 5 over 3 so our first solution turns out to be x equals to 5 third and the second solution we're going to take a 3 at the bottom as a common denominator. Negative 7 minus 2 makes negative 9 over 3, which could be simplified as x equal to negative 3. So we got two solutions, either this or x equal to x equal to negative 3. Or if you want to write differently, you can just simply say thus our solution set is simply what negative 3 comma 5 over 3 and that is our answer thanks for watching